Welcome back to Kid Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. In 2022, two business owners and music lovers came together to start a bar, record store, and live music space all wrapped into one building on Broadway. Here to share how Spectrum Record Lounge is faring two years on is co-founder and local musician, Parker Bond. Parker, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. thank you. We were walking in together, and uh, you, you said that Spectrum just uh, celebrated two-year anniversary? Yeah, so we uh, that was... Technically, it was September 12th was our two-year official anniversary, but we celebrated a couple weeks ago. We opening a Courtney's Margarita Villa. We turned into a different spot for the day. It was a did you really? Yeah, it was a wild time. It was like Margarita Villa <laughs> themed, you know, Hawaiian shirts. And yeah, all Margarita menu. It was fun. That's Karaoke great. all day, a couple bands. So. Nice. So two is two years gone by pretty quick. It feels like forever, and it feels like no time at all. Yeah. So yeah. So the the concept behind this and. Um, you know, I don't know if it was something that you guys had been thinking about for a while or, or, or what, but, uh, but it just seems like it's like the perfect, you know, mesh of, you know, music lovers and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, vinyl records have come back and, and I know you host music, just kind of the, the, the perfect, you know, assembly of all things music. Yeah, it's, uh, it's perfect. Basically, my business partner, Travis, yep. who most everybody here knows, Travis Tyson, he called me one day and was like, hey, what do you think about opening up a record store with a bar in it and I was like dude yeah we got to do that that's awesome and uh it's funny because the live music thing was really kind of uh not really a last minute thing but we didn't plan to do nearly as much as we do now but uh I think it was easily transformed into what it is now because once a couple people played there we just started getting a flood of emails from bands wanted to play our shop and it's a cool space with the record store and the bar so Mm -hmm. was that originally were you thinking that because like from a size and just standpoint, like, okay, how can we cram all these people in here? Or Definitely one of them is, like, capacity, you know, because yeah. we're fairly small. But the other thing is uh, also the amount of time it takes to, you know, book bands. And, right. you know, I'm primarily running sound at those shows. So and we're also doing everything else. So it was like, we can fit in <laughs> maybe once a month. And then most months, it's, like, every weekend. So <laughs> Every weekend now. Yeah, it's definitely taking an upswing through our time as Spectrum Record Lounge. So, Do you see a, uh, not to be cliche, but do you see a, a spectrum of people that, that, that come into the place? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, spe- our, our official slogan at Spectrum Record Lounge is everyone's cool at Spectrum Record Lounge. Um, we wanted to create a space where everyone feels welcome, doesn't matter what kind of music you're into, where you come from, what you look like. It's a place for everybody because music is for everybody. How many people come in and they're like, man, I'm looking for this, for this, you know, this vinyl or this album and, and maybe you have it, maybe you don't. I mean, a lot of those discussions it's going on. Every single day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every day it's phone calls or people coming in and it's a real bummer when we don't have something, but we also special order stuff. You know, okay. if you're looking for original copies, it's a little harder for older stuff, you know, because sourcing that is basically whenever it comes in, it comes mm-hmm. in. But for like new reissues and things like that, we special order almost anything. Now, is, is it just vinyl or do you have other? No, so we do cassettes, we do CDs, okay. we do some VHS. Okay. Usually just like cool titles that we like. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a lot of old horror and things like that, <laughs> kind of goofball <laughs> movies on VHS. We have a couple of DVDs hanging out, but they're mostly like music documentaries and things of that nature. I got a brother-in-law lives in St. Louis and every time he comes in town that, that he like, he, he heads out the door from the family event and heads down to Spectrum and, you know, gets through the... <laughs> well, tell him thank you next yeah. time you see no, him from me. Just, <laughs> I mean, that's just a, that re, you know, that regional appeal that, that the yeah. store has. And it's definitely picked up a lot, I think, just because we're the only record store in Cape. The closest one is our friends over at Plaza Records in Carbondale. Okay. So, I mean, those are the two closest record stores to anybody around here. So we get a lot of business for people looking for music. And are you, are you guys open six days a week? Six days a week, yeah. Six days a Monday week. through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Okay. So are, 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 where are you from originally? I'm from Montgomery, Texas originally. Okay. Birthplace of the Texas flag. All I'll right. throw that one out there. And when did you land, when did you land in, in Cape? I moved here about eight years ago. I moved here at the beginning of 2017. Okay. And uh, my wife's family's from here, and we'd been dating long distance for a while, so I moved up here. And... I immediately fell in love with Cape. I love it here. I love being a part of our community and being able to contribute something like Spectrum and just being integrated into it. I feel so welcomed moving here. And I saw that this town just has so much potential and there's so many cool people doing things like Jeff, who's, you know, the coolest guy ever. You know, it's, <laughs> there's, I feel like it's a small enough town. There's a little ton of opportunity for people to do cool things that they want to do. And, uh, you know, 
it's not going to put you out where you can't recover from it if it doesn't work out. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Take take the chance like you guys have. Yeah. Send it. Um, <laughs> Did you start playing music early on? You've been playing, been a music lover for a long time. I've been playing music since I was seven years old. Okay. My uh, stepdad was in several punk bands when I was a kid in the Houston area. He was also gotten to producing like a uh, lounge exotica style jazz stuff later on, and so it was a wide array of music that I grew up with and was exposed to, and musicians that I got to learn from. So, what for first instrument was what? It was a bass. It was a bass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you play, I know you play guitar, or you kind of play everything. Well, I play bass in a band called Community Sadness, and then I primarily play guitar. I play some solo stuff every once in a while, and uh, but I also play in a band called Versace Moped where I play guitar. It's basically just an excuse to play at a three guitar amps and be really loud. But <laughs> uh, f okay, favorite band? Who's your who's your favorite? I guess uh, national touring band. <sighs> that is a hard question, man. Yeah, you can give me two. I mean, oh man. Favorite national tournament of all time, or like? I, well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, of all time. I mean, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Probably my favorite band and or like artist of all time is Pavement and Stephen Malcolmus. Okay. So anything right. that guy does, I love that. And but I mean, it's there's so much. It's, it's hard. It's hard to pin. I know. I like. I, know. I like I'm, a ton. I'm of just stuff. putting you on the spot. Yeah. Okay. If you are, if you have a night off, and you're not doing anything which I know is rare, <laughs> uh, but you're just going to go watch some music around town. Any, yeah. any artists or, or bands you would, you would gravitate towards? I mean, really, I'd, it'd just mostly the place, you know. Okay. Scout Hall has something going on. Me and my wife will go down there. They have, they've hosted a couple of musicians that I really love. I was sad to miss the John Moreland show recently. Okay. But, uh, like, I love popping down there. I mean, there's a ton of great acts in Cape, you know. There's... I love spacers. Those dudes are awesome, just for a good vibe. Pretty wild space rock, space <laughs> pop duo. I don't know what they are, but they're awesome. They're, they play the shop on third Thursdays, and they're one of my favorite guys to see around town. But really, I mean, the Rude Dog t hosts tons of stuff. Yeah. You know, it's mostly about the place. I'm yeah. like, oh, they got something going on. I'll go down there. Yeah. Uh, before we wrap up here, what is coming up at Spectrum as far as music goes in the so next, next few months? This month, we don't have a ton going on. We're taking a little breather after a long summer, you know? And, mm -hmm. uh, but. On the 25th, we have our annual uh, Halloween party, which is rock and roll costume karaoke. Okay. Dress up as the artist you're performing as. Okay. It's a competition. You win prizes. You know, it's based on you know costume, performance, and otherwise. Then November, we're kicking right back into high gear with several bouts of live music. So on the 16th, we have a band called Year of October coming in from Nashville. They're super rad. They played at Ebb and Flow a while back. Um, just kind of good psych rock stuff. We have uh, Melanie Davis, Cat Holiday, and the Cattails. They're playing on the 23rd. And then on the 26th, we have a band called Sam Vega. This is all November dates. Uh, the 26th of November, Sam Vega. They're from Napa, California, and they're one of the coolest bands I've ever seen in my life. Parker, we thank you so much, man. We got to roll. And thank you for joining right us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration among the Department of Mass Media at SEMO, the city of Cape, and River Radio. Our executive producer is Anthony Shear. I'm your host, Mike Rennick. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.